All right, we've got to bring me another Slayer's Oath. Mm -mm. There we go. Um, how much do we need to adopt this? 25%. I don't think that is a province, though. I don't know. Province Knoblar country, county. Um. So definitely Flay Rock is, is one of his holdings. Um. Lord. There we go, that'll do. Uh, that, that'll do. That'll do. Badly diddly do. Doodly do do do. Enemy physical resistance. Enemy armies in the region. That's pretty good. Armor piercing weapons damage plus one. Upkeep for runesmiths heroes. I think we're gonna start with a rune of fate. And let's see. You already have one, huh? Yeah. Speaking of which, um. Oh, you're in a settlement. Excuse me. Send me to vengeance. This, what? This required the required characters in the st Oh wait, fucking wrong character. My bad. I thought it was a different one. Oops. Uh. Yeah. Oh, that's a valiant defeat. Really? Huh. I wonder if that is true. Let's fight the battle. <laughs> Unless a whole lot more greenskins come in? That's bullshit, because I'm running a really powerful army. So the best line infantry, really good ranged infantry. A lot of cannons. Once more! We will ally with the Manlings, just as Grimnir did ten score centuries ago. It has been many years since the Ongi have produced an emperor as worthy as Magnus or their founding warrior king. But I hear good things about this, Franz. <laughs> now, do they come from that end? Oh, they do, actually. Um... Seems like we gotta have, have, have a pretty much an uphill battle. I am not apologizing for that pun. Also, we're not gonna do anything fancy here, I'll be honest. I don't feel like doing anything fancy. We just have a load of cannons. Put them a little bit further, like here. Probably should pull the entire army backwards, actually. Well, defend the pass. I mean, what does the worst that could happen? Um, For Grimnir! No need to guard! <laughs> so if this is gonna be the fight, I am definitely not worried. Will do! Can we hit that? Four yeah, hit that. Uh, find the ranged units. Oh, we already got some shit on the flank. guys to hit that. Hit that. But the fact that these are blue with my green army. Ah! 
I had rid of that tax because I want to use this in my uh, thumbnails. I don't know what those are, but. Deserves death. Jesus. Okay, clusterfuck and manlings arrive. Attack the Earth! It is a reckoning! For the current anchor! Kazook! Where's the Lord? So, where's the giant? There it is. Ready, Axis! Slayers should be fine against the Mongolians. Yeah, they are. No greater authority. Kill Orcs. Hey, um. Wow. These Bugman Rangers are making mincemeat out of everything. Occasionally we get uh, some. Okay, we got some black orcs coming in. Hey, these. <laughs> what are those guys doing here? Okay, this is probably where the battle is becoming a little bit more tough. Like first wave is dead and retreating. Uh, let's. Uh... Oh, come on. Jesus. There we go. Some mad links coming in. Lovely. Oh, we got also got some Empire Mortars here. Look at that. It's proper firepower that's taking care of things. That's a lot of shit, by the way, that these guys are attacking. Um, let's move up a little bit, but I'm not really planning on, you know... Cannon. Joining them in the front line. For the ancestors. I just love this slightly muffled from the cannons. Constantly. This is shit, man. This is what I love, man. Good day to be Dwarf and Gunner. Shot a lot of stuff, but I ain't firing a damn gun. Ha! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, they had some comments about people that use magic. The Empire lines have broken. Long As those manlings do. I should give them some credit, it's not bad. Oh, we actually had a Arachnorok spider here. Okay, these guys are tanking a little bit more black orc than I would like. And then again, that's uh I don't really know what to do about that necessarily. Um uh, see if I can actually get rid of those chariots because Spider retreats the moment it realizes. Wait, what? Back in battle? No, thank you. Gylo, oh, no. It's a Gylo. It says Gylo, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we can actually hit the Doom Divers. See, this is the thing. This is considered hybrid infantry. Um, that means that they're um, also pretty good in fucking battle. So this guy just charged in uh, a group of uh, guys that has literally no quarrel. Attacking these slayers are pretty good. Yes, move! Ready to strike! Still got 
a uh, general of the empire there. Couple of handgunners. This is literally, as weird as it sounds, these are my favorite units in the game. Empire handgunners. <laughs> I love the cannoneers. You can just hear them in the in the background, just insulting magic uh, users. Oh my god! It's crap. Oh, flank. That's not good. Yeah, I don't hold that one. But they keep just chucking insults. I kind of get why it's said like, hey, you probably won't win this because this is a bit of a. Bit of a harsh fight. A lot of, like, we were full HP when we started on this, uh, this little endeavor. Um, I think I need to do it, like, right there. And then I spawn some ancestral shield barret. Oh god, yeah, that's gonna definitely kick some ass. Ooh. I found something for you. You see those trolls? These guys go. They're fast, by the way. They're 42 speed. Speed 55. How fast are those fucking trolls? Oh, they're not fast enough. Look at them. Look at them. The slayers are running in. They're just gonna be the happiest guys ever. Anti large death blow, whirling axes. Oh, we got another troller? I think most of it is retreating. Just got a couple of trolls and things going. Uh, I crossed it off the map. Please, thank you. Oh, I think most of my range is out. Of Don't shoot mortars up. I, guess, I think we're gonna get some friendly fire kills. Right, I think that is considered it. What do you mean? Sizable defeat. Easy, easy. That was that was not easy. I think I lost some uh, some units. Beric victory. I would say, yeah, probably would be considered Beric. Um, considering I would probably not continue fighting after this. Yeah, damn. I think I lost two uh, Longbeard squads. Jesus, Jesus. Holy fuck me. Yep, dope. These uh, have paid off fairly fucking well. Like, all my guys done really, really good, but holy shit, my cannons. <laughs> cannons, man. They work. Also, my slayers, 125 kills. It's pretty good. Pretty good shit. Um, I'll take the money, thank you. Fuck off. Alright, cool. We uh, got ourselves the, uh, the Dragon Crown of Karaz. Which is a really good item. So, uh, yep, I'll definitely uh, agree on that one. Um, get back in here. See what we can get. Uh, not that interesting much. Uh, these are four turns. Uh, but that seems to be about the time we're probably going to need anyway to get anything done to be <laughs> Troll hammer torpedoes, flamethrowers. You still have a fairly basic army. Uh, nah, you'll get these. Um, you have your extra cannons already. I might. I am the White Dwarf. Sure. Um, Moving out. It's it's true, but it's more the uh, remark. I might get rid of some of the ranged units uh, and put some other bits in there. Um, where the hell is? Oh, right. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, all things considered. <laughs> Let's start prepping this. Mm. Cancel that one. Grab that one. Grab that one. Of course you got some levels out of that. Um, you need six. Holy shit. Okay, let's get Tactician as well. Two points. There we go. There she goes. Uh, Chaos is doing well. But I haven't spotted any of, the, of their armies yet. 
Which I'm looking forward to seeing how the new Warhammer 3 map is actually going to work in game. Because the, the thing that we saw was very weird. Like weirdly skewered. Don't kill the guy because I actually need him. Hi. Let's hear what you. Oh, we can finally trade? Yeah. Hey, we have one dwarf that survived. Actually, we have three so far that I know of. Uh, one of them is two legendary lords still alive. Probably need to confederate on them. Um, at some point, at least. But uh, yeah, Slayer King is alive. Which I will give, by the way, an army full of slayers. Because, well... What else would you give him? That was a lord, isn't it? Or was it? Yeah, I think I got a... Yeah, I don't know why who that is. Or... Oh, I guess that would be this guy. Uh, that makes sense. That would make sense. I could... Pr hey, Grimgore, you're still over there. Oh, how cute. Tried and tested. I don't like it. Hey, he's also over here. Um, Looks like... Can I set up a ambush? 25% movement, so I can move a little bit further. Um, there we go, 25%. Oh, you're kidding me. Fuck me. I will put him right there. Um, right, so... I grow restless. Wait, that's your capital. Oh no, wait, that's Sufbar. Never mind. That is the uh, old dwarven, whatever the fuck it was. Um, where are you? Uh, right, he's right there. I'm. I, I, I need another me. army. You have my axe. There we go. Because this allows me to recruit. No, it doesn't actually. All right, like I said, I'm probably gonna get rid of a couple of these. Um, because I want to get some other bitsies and bobsies in here, at least. Okay, so I want to get three cannons in here, and I want to get, eh, let's set two of these special units in there. Uh, probably keep them. How can I help? Um, not really anything in there. Yeah, we kind of neutered him, but... I'm actually gonna save a little bit of money because I got some plans. I will upgrade, however, some settlements because that's always a good thing to do to make good money. Oh, I don't want out of money. <laughs> however, I make a quite nice amount of cash. All right, so we got that movement done. That allows my white dwarf to get some shit done. So we're gonna get two flamethrower units and three artillery units for his army um, and hopefully with that we will um, have a nice booming army all right so put you on that and uh, we'll protect a protective rune on uh, on the carnosaur casualties predicted are very low and looking at the amount of Black orcs here. I am not even gonna try this. I would have taken a lot more casualties. As much as I want to fight with these things, I <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you very much. That would have not been fun. Um, uh, right. So three down, one up. That's the idea, right? And you might be thinking, like, wait a minute, we're only running three lords. Okay, this got destroyed. Um, there we go. Oh, cool. We got access from the Yay. <laughs> Move a character to the room. Blah, 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 blah. Another quest issued. Another quest issued. All right. Um, luckily, I don't have to walk there anymore because that would have been ass. Um, we are going to need to do a little bit of recruiting, so we're going to put you in a regular ass stance. Let's see what we can get locally. Uh, we can get one cannon locally, and we need to get two of these remotely. We need a lot of this stuff to get remotely. Uh, and I gotta get the flamethrowers, and 
I have not access to any of that. So that's gotta be shit. That's 12 turns. Uh, maybe not do that then. Hmm. I am the white dwarf. What do I need for these here? Armory. All right. Um... Oh, that solves it. And I will put a tinkers then and there. Hmm. Hit the big thing first. For vengeance, for Karakazol, Rune Lord of Karakazol. All right, I am gonna probably sell this not to this guy I'll probably sell it to him there's not really I, I cannot I cannot set up like a dwarven vassal sadly enough if you want something done right. All right, I'm gonna just strip this is there any unique building here no I'm gonna strip this uh, entire settlement um, don't do the abandon because I think that's that has a different result. All right. Um, yeah, just keep. Uh, oh, you can assassinate anything or not. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Not even remotely close to what I wanted to say. What I wanted to say was that I don't really know what I need to do with you. Um, uh, Karak Flag sounds pretty much like a Dwarven Alt. And Silver Pinnacle we could probably also take. Um... I am not at war with Sylvania. That's a massive empire. You mean the empire itself or... Or mine? Like, we are huge. Mind you. Um, what do you want? Oh, my dwarven. Yeah, my dwarven oh, empire is pretty big. Fetch the brewmaster. Let's confederate. Together we're stronger. Let our clans be as one. Um. Ready. Come, come, kin. Let us feast. Okay, did I just confederate a lot more dwarfs than I intended? No, okay, I didn't. Alright, uh... Okay, I need to retake that, though. Um... The slayer in me seeks death. I have insufficient funds, so that's fine. Um... My anger burns bright. That's a special melee specialist, I think. Me thinks. I grow restless. Master of Rune. All right, I need to uh, close all the windows before you can do that. There we go. Um. Also, one second. Um. Definitely want to get the Rune Smith. Get the Slayers. Get some of the range dudes. That well. uh, looks like a functional army. Um, are you considered a Thane or are you considered different? Now you're definitely different. <laughs> Alright, um, I want this guy to. I want gun bat and we'll t re we kind of colonize this. I'm gonna head for Karaka Dream. The bit of a weird army but it will work if it will work it, it lacks artillery support which is about what's currently a little bit bugging me but we'll have to do um tactician i 
case you need to defend. The sad part about dwarves and dwarves is, is that they don't rule with logic and reason. They rule with whatever reason they can conjure that is related to honor or family tradition. Yeah. Yeah, they're really driven by either tradition and grudges. Um, and I, you can kind of understand why, because in the past it really helped them. Uh, but now it's um, it's more limiting because uh, they're very technologically advanced in comparison to the other races. Um, their gunpowder units are super superior to what anybody else has to offer, except for the Skaven. And that's the thing, right? They, this, they people consider like the Skaven to be the most technologically advanced species in, in, in Warhammer fantasy, which is absolutely true. However, the dwarves could have surpassed them like ages ago if it wasn't for the simple fact that they just don't know how uh, or, or haven't, don't have the, the, the capacity to really innovate anymore. Because uh, it's so difficult for any dwarf to get anything uh, new invented. Because of their oaths and all that kind of stuff. It's a really, really sad story, to be honest. Uh, you don't have the most important rune there, buddy. Alright, colonize this rune. The biggest blame is at the Engineer's Guild, because everyone who innovates gets banned. Basically, yeah, if you innovate something, it needs to be proved to be better at everything... Uh, com no, 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 no. Comparative to the previous uh, idea that they had, right? So if you want to invent a new cannon, your cannon might be able to shoot harder, uh, but it might not, like you, can, like a higher load of destruction, right? Uh, nearly superior in every way. But if it isn't superior in every way, they will not accept it. Um. No, I wouldn't call them the same as the Mechanicus. The Mechanicus is more... Because um, dwarves fully understand... I think one of the one important differences is that dwarves fully understand how their technology works, unlike the Mechanicus, which lost track of that shit quite a while ago, in all honesty. Um, I don't think I'm going to build that, actually. Let's do... I actually don't know. Uh, this will generate me some money. Um, so the mechanic has kind of lost track of whatever the fuck they were inventing, right? Um, the... Um, the Dwarven Engineer's Guild is more in the line of... Um, like, it needs to be better. Can you prove it's better? It's It's so... Toxic in in that regard. Um, I think I'm actually gonna kick these. Sorry, I'm going all over the place. I'm gonna kick these two out. Um, I'm gonna put some not global recruitments. I want the. There we go. All right, and we'll boot these three out. There we go, more of a Slayer army. Because Slayers are also better in this army because we're a Slayer King. Um, and these, we need some ranged units, so this will work. We've got a nice little Slayer army here. I don't know what I'm going to do with this army. I think for now, I'm actually going to use it to get some minor things done. Alright, we can upgrade that. I need to hit that at some... You know what? I still have... This guy, which we could send over to clean clean that up. So we got two two up, two down. Yeah, that works for me. You're a runesmith. Really? Okay, that's a bit of a waste. Um anyway, go over here. Uh so, yeah, that's good. Yeah, I wouldn't call them similar. Mechanicus is a more 
desperately trying to keep something functional. That technically sort of has been broken quite some time ago. Oh, Chaos was spot a while ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why the Empire is in ruins. Um, I think about... They spawned around turn 50 or 60, maybe? Um... Oh, fuck. Before I... Uh, sorry. Pardon all the profanity. Uh, before I move north with Ironbrow, I need to clean out the Dark Elves on the islands to the south. Our bargain will be in... Ah, oh, Christ, Durthu. Durthu's nickname is Tree Hitler. Wars are stuck in tradition, basically. Hmm. Spent one more turn re regenerating. Probably should not have done that. Realized it a little bit too late. Alright. Um. It's as good as done. Alright, stay there. Um. If you want something done right. Alright, we need to get some uh Off we go. talks done with this guy. Damn it. That's not the right guy. <laughs> oh, come on. Sometimes this works. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's at least got a non-aggression pack running. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know. This is just a nickname that some of the... Uh, I don't watch a lot of YouTubers. But... One of the few YouTubers I've watched regarding Durthu, he's been calling him Tree Hitler, like, constantly. Um, probably has to do with the fact that that he probably hates everything that isn't tree-ish or elvish, maybe? I don't know. I have literally no idea, so... Maybe... It's just every time my my when I see Durthu, my brain goes Tree Hitler. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Probably has to do with something with cleansing the forest. Not my race though, Wood Elf. We drink, then we talk. What's up? I'll run a defensive alliance. He's in a fucking corner surrounded by... There's Nakai. Oh wait, Nakai is part... Who? How the hell did Nakai become part of... Wait, what? The... Uh, I don't, I don't... Um. Wait, you're friendly? I um. am the Slayer King. Alright, we got some runes here. Ward save on a unit, that's always good. Charge bonus. Charge bonus. Yep. Mm, less vigor loss. Let's clean this up. Yeah, don't think so, buddy. Oh, got some Ogre Oka Mercenaries that, uh. Slayers aren't that good, but sure. But apparently this army is doing really well. Um, that's okay. 
The way the AI sets up some shit is just wonky as hell. I think I'm actually gonna do it. So I've got that mod running. Hmm. Can't respec him. Might as well run this because there's sometimes some friendly regions. I am gonna actually take a look at you. Oh, I don't want roots. Okay, I could probably forge a couple. I've got a lot of. Oh, definitely. The ogres are really are a fun race. Um, I'm kind of. I've already had some friends of mine uh, basically uh, scream. Um, I want to say scream, but um, speak out their disappointment for the fact that they are a pre-order bonus, and to them, okay, that's what they said. Let me clarify something: they are a early adopters bonus. There's a slight difference here. So, uh, uh, Creative Assembly has got a lot of flack for their pre-order bonus, especially when. Um, in, in Warhammer 1, where one of the major races, Chaos, because Chaos wasn't important in the first Warhammer, not as important. It was behind a paywall, basically, by an early access thing. And so they've always been a bit, you know, funky on their DLC shit. They changed it with the last Warhammer to a early adopters bonus. That means they basically get, you get access to them. As long as you order buy the game within, I believe, either you pre-order it or you buy it in the first one or two weeks. I can't remember what it was last time, so I'm not going to give you any exact timestamp. So, if you don't like pre-ordering a digital product, which you shouldn't do anyway, why the fuck would you pre-order a digital product? There is not a limited amount available. Do not order digital products. Or from a company... Or anything from a company that you don't know what you're gonna get right do not do that do not no stop it don't do it it's not worth it anyway um, so you can wait till your favorite reviewing website that you still believe is completely genuous or your favorite youtuber or whatever um, has told you what his his or her opinions are about the game and if that's if it's good or if, if it's, it's in line with what you think as well buy it but there is no reason for you to buy it before that pre-order bonuses are the toxic shit of the uh, scum of the world you shoot it's oh, i can't click through it real fast just just don't do it there's no reason no, oh, just, 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 just keep your wallet in your pocket. Just, just, you know, take it easy, take a step back, drink another beer, instead of, you know. Oh, let's make this guy really fast. Um, but there is no reason to do it. I, I never understood it. People that 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 buy pre-order digital products that that, that have no added value to it, right? Because... What would, what would it bring to you if you did it? Order understood pre-ordering Vicky 3. Click. I'm gonna hit somebody. Punish the grudge makers. I think that might even be, the, be even a worse idea to order that. Like, CA at least have proven themselves to be capable of producing a, a, a con fairly consistent and okay product. And if it turns out to be less than optimal, they fix it. Uh, for example, I want to point out Rome 2 Total War, which was a utter, utter disaster on launch. Which is right now one of the better Total War games. Um... I have to admit, though, Three Kingdoms Total War... Uh, good in theory? Not that good in practice? Troy is pretty good. I, I like Troy. 
Oh, and Troy, they moved. So I think what's happening with a little bit with CA is that they've they've made this game called uh, Warhammer 2 Total War, which is uh, really good. With really good, I mean, holy shit, it's good. And uh, oh man, I'm gonna kill your entire army, and it's gonna cost me nothing. Anyway, it's really good. And, uh, yeah, uh, what the fuck am I doing? Um, I got a couple of those. Uh, I don't have any cannons, that's annoying. Um, so every game afterwards they've been producing is basically another Warhammer 2 Total War. Uh, you see the Three Kingdoms with the hero, because the dynasty, the non-dynasty mode wasn't good. It just really wasn't. Holy shit, there's, there's two of them? Well, and that's our cheap. I don't even know who these guys are. Waldenhof? Never heard of her. It is? I never went back after two months playing Rome 2. Maybe we should give it a try. Apparently it's really good. Yeah, I've played a little bit of it. Um, I like it. Um, what? Cool. I didn't realize my master engineers can get gyrocopter mounts. That's really cool. Home. Whatever floats your goat. I don't think I should have somehow dismounted there. Uh, oh, immortality. Yes, please. Uh, can I respec you? No, I thought I'd, uh, I might have disabled that mod again. Um, might run that mod again. Uh, What would you get after perfect free? Oh, nice. Casual replacement rate? Hell yeah! Alright. Uh, I don't really need scouting. Alright. Oh, I need to give the White Dwarf a uh, thing. Um, an auto army. Before I forget. Well. Yeah. Uh, long story short, no pre-order shit. Pre-ordering a physical collector's edition, well, bye-bye Azok, is completely fine with me, because you usually, those are, uh, uh, in all likelihood, in limited supply. my work! Um, so if you don't pre-order it, there is a very small chance that you actually can get one. If there's like a nice booklet or something along in there, or a statue that you really want to see, or something along those lines, just go for it. Just, just do it. Go for it. I'm, I'm fine. You don't need my permission anyway. It's your fucking money. Uh, but it makes sense, right? At that point, to, uh, to take, to take a, to, to. to To buy the product. Other than that, just I don't see it. I, I don't see it happening. I don't see a reason for it, nor any rhyme. All right, got a lot of things over there. We can get a province secured. Things are looking good. All right, I need to prep some shit though. Um. Well, somebody's already starting to regret his decisions to attack me, I guess. Uh, let's get that in. Let's get some beers in, because, you know, first thing you need as a dwarf is build a, a, a place to get some beer. Um, There we go, Grumbrindle. I built some buildings for you, so maybe you should... There we go. Um, oh, I can actually still get the flamethrowers now. There we go. Cool. In three turns, he's up and running, so they can go south. Uh, there you go. Mm. 
I don't think I really need this lord anymore. It's not, he's not that he's bad, but I think I right now have no real use for his army, so I'm just gonna yeet him out. And let that do its own little thing. I'm actually, I'm going to select this guy and exempt him from taxation. Hmm, that will run its own course, that's okay. Uh, hero not moved. Oh yeah, we're fulfill my tringy oath. <laughs> Retake the realms. A lot of these are never, you know, upgraded. I don't get a message like they uh there's there. Alright, let's just uh start searching. Getting some stuff clear. Uh, what are we doing with you? Uh vigor loss reduction in the entire Lord's army is not bad. And you uh, I think we got an itchy beard on you, yeah. Hmm. Alright. Oh god. My brain my brain is off today. It's not in a good state. Ah, uh, maybe because I've also been sleeping terribly. Not really seems to do me well. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh I think the uh, the Wood Elves declare war. Okay, what are you gonna do? Get the declare war? Oh, a non-aggression pact? Yeah, no, I have. So you just no, he did. It. That wasn't you. No, then who did? I don't know. Have you been going to the gym lately? Uh, no, I have not been going to my gym. However, I bought some home tr uh, training equipment, so I am actually been uh, exercising at home again. To uh, bypass the problem of having some, well, issues within the gym right now. Uh, regarding COVID, because COVID is is in full swing again in, uh, in the Netherlands. And I still... Exercising while being sick uh, sucks. It's not really my favorite thing to do. And... Uh, this uh, seemed to work for me. So I got some uh, weights, got some barbells. I'm taking shots? As in? I am vaccinated, so, but we, um, so that's not the issue. No, the problem is that um, I, uh, I have hydration issues right now that probably might be potentially have some uh, kidney issues. Don't not sure about this, but I am dehydrating very fast. Uh, even though I'm drinking more than enough fluids, I seem to be passing my fluids through my body a little bit faster than, than I would consider normal, which means I constantly have the sensation that I'm in a, in a state of dehydration. Exercising while dehydrated is like one of the worst things you can do. Uh, and it makes me feel pretty fucking crap. So, yeah. That's it. So I've been exercising at home because at home I can uh, basically stop a little bit, stop whenever I want to. And at some point a person will say like, oh, well, you can also stop when you want to when you're in a gym. Yeah, but that's not how it works. When you're in a gym and you're around all that equipment and all that weight and all that potential, my body just wants to go and go nuts. And, uh, Oh, this is Malice Darkblade. That's that guy, that really edgy guy. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, that kind of sucks ass. So, I've been doing about a half hour of exercise uh, at home, which seems to... Uh, yeah, Carl, France. No, sure. Non-aggression pact all the way, baby. Oh, I've seen you own a mountain. Why did you have to get a mountain, Carl? Did you just take a mountain? That's, that's Can you see I'm busy? What's up, though? Join my war? Uh, no. No, I don't think I am going to. Why are you? Sorry, 
Yeah. I've been uh, doing some uh, f uh, full body exercise, uh, basically, trying to get as many All compound movement exercises in. Uh, the thing is, with this guy, it just stands there, not doing anything. Scalp cake. I don't know what the fuck his problem is, but... Hey, we got Malice Dark Blade kill. Armor piercing weapon damage plus a hundred? What? Okay. I was... It was his bunker complex. You've seen the rest of the Empire. Uh, might be, yeah. Oh, one of my items is here, though. So it if I can get a... Of the mountains. Indeed. Okay, I won't do a military alliance yet, but that will get me closer. If I can get a military alliance with him, I, uh, I'll i be able to uh, um, get the item there. So I don't need to actually destroy him. There were two armies here. Where the fuck did they go? Oh wait, they attacked me. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Will be tested. Your wits about you. Iron brow. What the? F sure. All right. Uh, let's do that one. This army is not taking any damage. Don't ask. Hmm. Uh, there we go. Right. Watch. Uh, wait, was that you? Wait, did that just get raised? No, that's still Skaven. Why did I lose sight of it? Alright, um, as of now, I don't really want to piss off any Skaven. So let's not. Before I kind of secure it. So we are burning underground on the lookout, so that's good. There's a lot of crap here. Okay, so how are you looking? One more turn, okay. In auto resolve? Yeah, well. Clan Scryer. Uh, Clint's Cry is also up north, I think. <sighs> Fuck, I didn't want to do that. Okay, that might be an issue. I might postpone my war against... Because uh, I think Scryer... Is it up north as well? Our bargain will be inscribed in clink. Mm, I won't sign a defensive alliance. Just confederate with France, I'll, uh, and you'll have your alliance, Mr. Gelt. Gelt does like gunpowder, though. Really does. And thanks for the bits, as always. I thought I can't remember. I said thanks. Alright, I need to. Alright, we secured an artifact. Uh, was that an artifact so that we can be crafting? I hit the right menu. No. However, any artifact we secure now. Um, so this is clan... Molder. Oh, thank fucking god we're not going... We're not there yet. Alright, cool. Um, I didn't really feel like also having to do Molder at the same time. Jesus. However, oh, that's not one of them I want to assassinate. There's a lot of lords here. Wait, did I? Oh, that's problem is solved. Um, yeah, we because we have the alliance with these guys that got taken, and so that's how we got it. Oh. Okay. So the entire campaign south is off the books for now until I get the, into Camry. But I don't feel like the Camrian one is going to be my, that much of an, a thing. 
All right, so we're going to get some dwarves into water. And we'll bypass it in here and go in to stick that. Um, or can I... I can move pretty far. I can just go here and just ignore that. Destroy Camry while we're at it. Did that work? I have military access to these guys, right? Yeah, I do. Uh, but I got attrition in most of it anyway. Alright, uh, let's get into the water. Oh, we're trespassing. Who gives a shit? Do you want to kill me? Go ahead. Uh, the White Dwarf will... And Go and start ruining somebody else's day. I can swear to, I'm pretty sure they're right here. I know for a fact the Skaven Blight's right there, so... Right, so that's army number two, three, and four. Now we need to get... No, that's this is army number four. Um, Not exactly where I had hoped you could get out, end up, but... Alright, it allows me to uh, get there next turn. Um... I wanna know what's over there. Alright, let me quickly build up some stuff. Um, I swear to god, there's a thing where, that I should have been building a lot sooner. Um, but I can't remember where it is. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um. It's not over here. Is it Karis Angro? No, it doesn't have any special buildings either. remember where it is though <laughs> pretty sure in one of these I should have some special buildings I got some special stuff in Carrick 8 peaks I know for fucking sure but that's yeah we already have the Grand Underway Junction in here so that's not it Black Crag uh, nope oh wait a minute an iron rock, I have a special one. Huh. Um, I can't remember. If you live in a warm friends field, where would you live? And what would you do as a profession based on your real life skills? Oh. Ooh, that's a good question. Um, I'm, I assume, yeah, vulnerable fancy. Um, ooh, where would I live? Well, I don't have time for words. All right, I guess we're fighting Mulder as well. I lost my ranged dwarf shit. Um, where would I live? I, bleh. based on my real life skills, I, I, I'd say I might be a dwarf because I'm as stubborn as the back end Can of all. Can you see I'm busy? The rooms um, wait for no one. I need to explain something to me fairly well before I accept it uh, or come with proof. So yeah, I would definitely be a dwarf. And my profession, um, I'm really good with my hands, um, but I wouldn't be an engineer, so I think I would closer to something like a runesmith, because um, I am creative, um, I am somebody that prefers to work with his hands, um, yeah, I think I'd be a dwarven runesmith somewhere. Um, like genuinely 
Um, oh, really? Shit. Um, wait. Oh, we don't own that? Shit. Um, I thought I did. Alright. Um, but yeah, I think that would make the most sense to me. Would you like... Well, where would you like to live, that is? Oh, I definitely want to prefer to live as one of the... One of the dwarven uh, holds. So, yeah. If you want something done right. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. I think that makes sense. Regarding who I am, I uh, would probably be, uh, considering I'm still fairly young, um, especially for a dwarf, I would be, uh, I would consider myself a, uh, a apprentice, smith, mason type of deal, yeah. Definitely. All right, it's time to uh, get that up and running. Right, I need this guy to get up north as fast as we can. Um, you know what? Why don't we get you over there? Right, I need to kind of figure out what I'm going to do with him. Because I could technically just pick up two more slayers, but I think it might be a bad idea to at least have some ranged capacity. It takes me four turns just to get two of them. Wait, I can get local. Fucking shoved. Alright, cool. We think we'll be living in a border prince area as a mercenary. Yeah, the way that makes sense is whatever I know of you. That would, yeah, sort of make sense. Oh, fuck. Uh, no, I have a better idea. Sorry. No, no, no. The, the, I, not, not for the Dwarf of Hoosmith. I, I just, this is, we're back in the game. Military movement. Um, we're gonna send the Iron Brow, we're gonna send it to the Vampire Lords to uh, clean that out. Um, <coughs> so I can get some mercenaries if I want to. Um, can I trigger this with a hero? Oh, that'd be a bad idea. Anyway, um, we can send the White Dwarf to take that hold near the Black Black Lake. It's the Black Lake. And yes, we'll enter the side of Reichland. Looks like the uh, allied races are bonding together. Uh, not a lord. Just nope. We can't get recruited or anything there. Um, Southern Darklands. We got a rebellion up and running. Yeah, that's to be expected. All right. So you you'll be running, and you need to start retaking that as soon as we lose it. Uh, yeah, you're full up and running. Red Eye Mountain sieging it is. Um, wow, that's gonna be a lot easier than expected. Why would you declare war on me then? Sometimes you just wonder what the fuck's going on. Um, it was sometimes, I mean, most of the times. Because <laughs> fuck as I know. Um, right, uh, you. Are by far the closest to get there. Uh, oh wait, that's not the white dwarf. Where the fuck is my white dwarf? Oh, there he is. I'm here now. Oh, he is, but definitely the closest. Our enemies shall tremble. Uh, just go over here. Next turn, we can get over there, and you can go over here. And I think that's all we can do for now. We got a lord. Uh, no, we don't, that's not a lord. That's a laddie. Uh, who are you? Why are you here? Search those ruins, I guess. Um, yep. Alright, we're gonna just strip and abandon this. Because uh, there's no way we can hold it anyway. Um, you're inside an army. Okay. 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 Um, accompanying Lord. Causing fear. Blackwater. Sorry. Blackwater, Black Lake. Wasn't Blackwater also that military company that um, fucked some shit up in Iraq? Uh, 
can't exactly remember, but I'd ring some bells somewhere else as well. <laughs> I have nothing for the undead. Leave now. <laughs> First we drink, then we talk. What's up, Carl? Hey, there we go. Should get access to some uh, more crap, then. Yeah, I'd consider that having some bad PR. Yeah. God, In these dark times. Uh, just confederate. Just confederate. Wow, I won? Maybe I should not have abandoned that province then. <laughs> oh, God. Artifact recovered. I got some nice confederation going on. Wounded guy. Range for artillery units. Wait, I still hold it? More Grim's gears of war nears completion. Nice. Well, I got a lot of turns again to rebuild this. I can get up to level three. Holy shit. Right. Uh, there you go. Research available. I oh we finished it already. Holy shit. Um Oh, I need a room forge for that. Okay. Okay. Well considering I actually have slayers now. Let's um Yeah, let's run some slayers. Right, that's that. Uh you go on sailing proper fast stance and go over there. Um Oh right, yep. Too many people. That's it. That's it. I'm dead. Right, simple battle. Yeah, I know I'm not fighting a lot of battles anymore, but it's just a lot of these are either annoying for me to do or other things. All right, so I can. Hey, ammunition for bolt throwers, quarrelers. Ah, this makes them pretty My powerful. Our artillery now has no equal. Well, gunpowder artillery will still surpass you. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't, don't, don't mind me. Um. All right. The beard rings of Grimnir will finally be reunited. Sure. Sure. A wise direction. Alright, so I have a couple more to go. I think I have uh, one, four more to go. Shit, I needed to raid some Dark Elves. I kind of forgot to do that. Uh, I know of two of them. Um, sorry. One here and the other one is here. I have three here. And there's one more somewhere, which I don't actually know where it is. Um, hmm. Interesting. It has been lost to our people for far too long. Yeah, okay. I shall punish the thieves who took it. Yes. Soon we will reclaim it. Ah, uh, okay. Oh God, that's that's gonna be a thing. It's gonna be a thing. What are the campaign goals? Uh, I wanted to do a long campaign victory, so yeah, that so far is what are the goals is. But apparently, streaming us for eight hours a week kind of blasts me through the campaigns a lot faster than I wanted to. I had hope this campaign would last me until the twentieth of uh, November. Today is the 8th. Now we from another hold arrive. And I'm not expecting this to run much longer. But uh, we'll have to see. 
I might play some CK3 again. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with that again as well. Definitely been having a lot of fun with that. By Clad Brakak, mm. I should. Hell say. yeah. <laughs> Not aggression packed. Funny guy. A bargain will be in store. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Mm. I smell a troll in the mountains, Madling. No. Oh. Or be killed. Off we go to fill my chapters with terrors of untold lands. That's why I would love for Gothric to be permanent. There's probably a mod for that. Um, I must fulfill my slayer oath. After this siege, I will recruit some artillery in that army because. It's annoying that I cannot um, siege fast. Mm. All right. Um. Get over there. Uh, let's see. We can probably do some good stuff in here. Mm, those are not necessary. No. Not right now. All right. Who are we gonna siege here? Well, I'm at war with most of the Skaven, so uh, I don't even know who you are, Clan Farrick. Uh, probably a minor Skaven. And um, by Clan Farrick. And there we go. Zoof bar secured, tank art secured, secured, secured. Alright, we're gonna run some quest battles with the White Dwarf soon after. Do secret is a minor South Italian? Well, that sounds interesting. I have a couple of extra mods that are really fun to run as well. Um. Um, the gifts of Valia. Upgrade that. Uh, let's see. We can upgrade that, and we can run the commandment here. We can start taxing the province. King acts. Onward. It seems like most of the stuff is coming together pretty well. We need to secure that. Now we need to do, uh, we'll have a run up to the south. And once we have secured the entire south here. Wait, that's... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. First I got to like, wait, who owns the yellow bit? But that's the uh, Wood Elf province. But yeah, I think I might run some CK3. Um, maybe as a South... I actually haven't done South Italian. I'll, uh... I'll send up a nice empire of mafioso. I can mean what now? Uh, the ogres have left. Yeah, that's to be expected. Alright, um... Considering this is walls and I don't feel like I want to siege a wall, I'm not going to fight the battle. Oh, you haven't been fighting any battles today anyway. Uh, it's not entirely true, but I get your point. Right, um, I did say that I want to run some, uh, oh crap, I think I need to do, I barely can get that done. Alright, there we go. I need to go with some global recruitment. And, uh, eh, you know what, I'll give him... One of each. There we go. It's gonna spend four, four turns recuperating there. Uh, are you still on that? Yep, indomitable still needs to be taken. All right, cool. You're almost ready. Uh, that is the fastest route, according to you. Take it. I don't care about any of the manlings that are in our way. 
Um, oh wow, this guy already has it. Is there specifically cannon? Organ gun? You know what? Organ gun mastery. Ignore that. Recruit me another organ gun. Because they're fun. Um, right. Who the fuck are you? Okay, you're this guy. Foe seeker is important. That's good. Do, if you have some personal rules you need to follow when you play Seeker 3. Do you have some personal uh, uh, I have one that is I must give all my male children a duke to be before the Order King dies. Countries if I'm a duke. Not specifically, I'll be honest. Um, I wouldn't say I have specifically a lot of rules. I have... I... Yeah. I try to have fun. I don't know. Uh, depends on my type of people. I usually have a... I have a couple of mods to kind of stimulate some more specific behavior. Um, I... Try to... Place my family as, as, as a primary concern. Which is something you need to do anyway. So I don't really say I've got any specific odd rules. Hmm... Try to be a big, big happy family. What brings you to the halls of my Gelt. ancestors? Oh fuck it, fine. We're, we're all the same targets anyway. Um, yeah, nothing specifically. Also, I am going over time quite a lot, so uh, yep. Uh, but I... Right, let me just finish this turn and. There we go. Get it all done and over with. We'll see. I think this is gonna be one, maybe two more weeks. Oh shit. Feel it. The tendrils of chaos spread south, tainting the lands. And with it, the warriors of chaos march. We must ready ourselves, for war is coming. But who has brought the warring tribes together? What manner of champion holds that power? Shit! That's a few. <laughs> Fuck me.